So the very last step of the root method is called edge permutation. And what that is, is basically edges are oriented, left and right are solved. And all you need to do is permute the edges on the middle slice. Uh, there are only five possible cases, and I'll be showing how to solve each of them and how to predi predict them from this position. So right before you insert your left and right edges, uh, they'll be on the bottom and you have to do an M2 to get them solved. And from this position right here, you can actually one look the rest of the solve, so you can just turn as fast as you can, and then you'll be done. This is the first edge permutation case. Uh, as you can see, it's solved. So, yay. To predict the solved case, you're going to see a solid humongous block here. So, solid color here, solid here. And it's like super obvious to see all these will be solved. And then when you just do M2, it'll go like that. So, you have this huge chunk. These are solved and then just M2, and then you just adjust the top. Second case is what I'm going to be calling uh, bars. So there are these bars of yellow on top and white. It could be like this or like this. And you solve it by U2, M2, U2. To predict when you're going to get a bars case, what you're going to see is the edges, obviously the left and right edges are at the bottom, and you'll see a vertical line right here, a vertical line, and then these two will be opposite, and then you can cancel into the solution. So here I'm going to do M2 and then U to match blue to the left side, but since I know the algorithm to solve bars starts with U2, I can just do M2 U prime to cancel into it, like that, and then done. Uh, the third case I'm going to be calling columns. So in the columns case, it's similar to bars, but on bars, the the... Uh, the matching colors were on top, and the opposites were on front. In columns, you have these vertical columns, so they're matching here and then opposite here, and you solve it like this, M prime, U2, M2, U2, M prime. To predict a columns case before you insert the left and right edges, you're going to see a horizontal line on top, and then solid colors on the front. So then you'll do M2, and then you know you have a columns case, so you can go straight into solving it. Fourth case is dots, so it's really easy to recognize. There's just like a flower powder, pattern sort of thing all over the place, and all you need to do is swap the centers. Uh, there are a bunch of different ways people solve this, and I'm going to show, I think, four of them. Uh, the way I see beginners doing it is U2, M2, U2, and then solving columns. So all that was was basically... They do bars, and then columns, and that solves it. Uh, it isn't terrible. Actually, it is. What am I saying? Uh, if you're going to do an alg that uses M's and U's, do U2, M prime, U2, and then M2, U2, M prime, U2. Like that. But the fastest way to solve it is this right here. It uses E moves, so it's E2, M, E2, M prime. I execute it like this. I go, I flick twice. Uh, like a U2 finger trick with my index and then ring and then for E for M I go like this with this finger and then M prime I go like this so then the execution would be like It can actually be done really quickly Especially if you have a white on top both of them are M's so then you can just go But even if you have yellow on top, it's still really quick so to predict the dots case before you insert left and right edges, you're, you're going to see a horizontal line like columns, except this time there's going to be opposites in front. So when you're, if you spot dots in this position, the fastest way to solve it is to actually cancel into an algorithm because you see these are solved, right? So then you can actually do something called front and back instead of left and right because these two are solved. So then from here, when you have like opposites here, you do U2, M prime, U2, M2, U2, M prime, and then it'll be solved. So once again, uh, right before, you'll see horizontal line opposites. And if you spot it before you insert, then you can do U2, M prime, U2, M2, U2, M prime, U prime. But if you don't, and then you just end up inserting it, uh, you can either do an MU alg, or you can do it like this, which is really fast. So the last edge permutation case is called the cycle, uh, and what it is is basically a pure three cycle 
like the ones you use in blind or FMC. So when you look around the cube, it'll just be a bunch of random things. And at first it won't seem like uh, there's any pattern here, but there'll always actually be a solid bar like this with two centers and an edge between them. So you have to locate that and then make sure not to break it. So right here, uh, I see I, ha I have this edge, which is red white, and I have to get this to be here without breaking this. So I know to do that, I do U2 M prime U2 M. And to pre predict these cases, what you have to do is spot what's going to end up on the BU. So in this case, it was the red white. So I remember that. Now I see red whites there. Uh, this block of yellow and orange is here. And this is red here. And I know white is opposite red. So this has to be yellow because we already established that that's white. So then to get this here, uh, you have to pair it up here and then just flip it. So this would be this case. Uh, there are actually a bunch of different cases. Like there's that one I just showed you, this one, but it's basically a bunch of the same case from different angles. So right before you do uh, LR edges, you're going to see like a diagonal thing. In the other ones, there was always either a horizontal or a vertical line. In this, there's like diagonal things. So once again, what you do is look at the sticker that's going to end up on the back. It could be like this. Uh, it could be the one on the left, or in this case, it's the one on the right. So you look at what that is. That's red, white, and then you insert. And then, okay, red, white's here. Red, yellow's here. This is paired with the center. We have to get red, yellow down to the red side without breaking this block. So then it's M prime U2, M prime U2. I'll uh, link a video in the description to a video by Guru on uh, an in-depth tutorial on how to predict the cycle case.